Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Perla Rodriguez and this is my channel about my weight loss journey. And so today I am going to be making um, an interesting video, I guess I should say, because um, I don't, I'm undecided if I should do two or one, I guess we'll figure it out. But anyways, so right now I'm actually going to be making some cauliflower rice, but this is a copycat version of the chipotle cilantro lime rice um so i'm gonna be making that if it's like a super short video then i'm probably just gonna combine it with like the rest of the video because essentially what i am making is um like a copycat version of the chipotle burrito bowls that's gonna be my meal prep for the next four days so i'm super excited to bring you all along with me um i've actually never made this cauliflower rice so i'm a little nervous so let's get started all right guys so the ingredients that you're gonna need is about half um half a head of cauliflower about a medium-sized one um, you're going to need to either process it and make it into like a cauliflower rice or you're going to, you can grate it. Um, I used this, geez, sorry, it's a little wet. I used this to grate it and it, it was just, it was the same. So you can also do that because I don't have a processor and I'm not going to go out and buy one just for this damn recipe. Um, you are going to need olive oil, bay leaves, chopped cilantro. Um, some fresh lime juice and some salt. Okay, so let's go ahead and start whipping everything together. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna for the rice for the actual rice. What I need, what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be taking this um, little rice. It's actually a rice, um, like a pan to cook rice from Princess House that I was gifted. Um, actually, I love that. But anyway. Um, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of olive oil in there and put the um, put the stove top on a medium heat, okay? And then um, I'm gonna let that warm up and then we're gonna pop in the, pop in. <laughs> we're gonna put in the cauliflower, we're gonna put in the cauliflower um, along with two uh, bay leaves which look like this and then we're going to cover it up and let it cook for about five minutes until the rice rice becomes about slightly about a little tender um and then go from there so yeah all right y'all so i added the cauliflower as you can see and then i'm going to go ahead and add my two bay leaves and then i'm going to go ahead and Close it up and then we'll be back in five minutes to check on it all right guys so the cauliflower is good it's tender how it should be I'm gonna go ahead and add half a cup of finely chopped cilantro as so um, so we'll go ahead and add that and then we're gonna add a tablespoon and a half of fresh lime juice And then we're gonna add a uh, half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna mix it all up. Mm, this smells so bomb. Mm. It's that lime juice. And right now I'm leaving the bay leaves in, but I'm actually gonna be taking them out once I'm done um, to, I don't know, I just don't see myself leaving the bay leaves in. So should I, I don't know, I'm gonna take them out. All right, and this is, I actually feel like I probably maybe put a little bit too much cilantro, but that's just me. Hey guys, and this is what it looks like. It actually smells really delicious, so I'm actually really excited to have some. Okay, all right guys, so that's a super short conclusion of how to make this um, chipotle, copycat chipotle uh, cilantro lime rice. Um, super easy. 
and yeah, uh, I am going to be marinating my chicken, excuse me, um, for the uh, burrito bowls next. Probably won't record that, um, but I probably will just let you all know um, how I marinated it. So, yeah. Hey guys, so we're back. Um, we're back and ready for some action. No, I'm just kidding. So we are working on making um, a copycat version of Chipotle's chicken burrito bowls. Um, I unfortunately kind of messed up yesterday. I didn't take the chicken out to thaw. And so by the time it was done thawing, it was already like 1030 at night. And I was like, I'm not making a video this late at night. Sorry, guys. So I had to marinate it anyway. So it's all it's okay i figured i would just do the rest today since it's all a compil compilation anywho um so like i said we are going to be making um a copycat version of chipotle's burrito bowls uh, because one they are s super filling um and full of protein and two they're delicious obviously and also i'm not really i try not to eat as many carbs so thus why i made the uh cilantro lime rice because i rice i've come to discover that rice um kind of hurts my tummy and so i don't eat it <laughs> so i'm really upset with chipotle for discontinuing the cauliflower rice because i'm like bruh like why would you guys do that but anywho that's a conversation for another day no, i'm just kidding anyways so i'm like i'm talking and talking anyways so I already marinated the chicken because I did that at like 7.30 a.m. So that's already done. I actually used a recipe that they have on Pinterest for the chicken marinade. So I'm really excited to try it and see if it's like similar. Um, copycat version, you know. So here it is. Chilling in the Ziploc bag. So I'm going to give you guys the instructions of what I did for the marinade, but obviously I'm also going to put that in the description box so everybody knows what all went into it. So for this, it smells so good. Um, for the marinade for the chicken, um, I used four garlic cloves chopped up. Um, or not, I'm sorry, not chopped up because you're going to put it into a blender. So just the gar garlic cloves, sorry. Um, one small red i used a red onion but you could use white onion if you don't like the sweetness of the red onion um so i used a red onion um and i only used a quarter of it um a, a fourth of a cup of distilled vinegar two tablespoons of ancho chili powder two teaspoons of cu cumin one teaspoon of dried oregano four tablespoons of vegetable oil one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one chipotle pepper in adobo sauce, and I use the Costeña brand. Um, I've always used that. I actually use that for um, my pollo chipotle as well, like the actual like chipotle sauce, like whenever you make pollo and chipotle. I don't know if anybody ever eats that. My mom makes it. It's probably like one of my favorite dishes my mom makes next to green enchiladas. Um, and then two tablespoons of that adobo, that same adobo sauce that's in there. So that is what I used to make this wonderful marinade concoction. So moving on. To make the marinade, you're going to add your garlic, onion, vinegar, ancho chili powder, cumin, oregano, the two tablespoons of oil, salt, pepper, your chipotle pepper and the adobo sauce into a blender. I use a blender. It says you could use a food processor too if you want. I don't have a food processor. I'm not going to go buy one. So I use my blender um, and just blend it until it's smooth. And it looks, it literally like looks really thick. It's like a thick, I don't know if you can kind of see it, but it has like this like thick red look to it. Um, yeah. And then you're going to place um, your chicken um so I used uh, two pounds of chicken because it's just me and I know damn well I'm not going to eat four pounds. It calls for four pounds of chicken, but I only used two. And honestly, I think even that's too much, but I'll probably just make um, later on. I'll probably make extra um, beans and like cauliflower rice to uh, make up for like whatever's left. And that'll just be my meal prep for the week. Um, so anyways, 
So you're going to place your chicken thighs or breasts into a large Ziploc bag, pour in your marinade, close the bag, and mix it all up. I like to like massage it in, you know, slap it around a little bit. I'm just kidding. No, but for oh, massage it in. Um, I like to massage it in and then you're going to close your bag and then, um, I'm sorry, and then you're going <laughs> to, what the hell, that was really dumb. <laughs> Right. We're going to mix it and just let everything fall out and not close the bag. <laughs> Anyways, and then you're going to place it into your refrigerator for either you can do it overnight or like you could do what I did. And I basically sat in the refrigerator for eight hours. So, And there's three different choices of cooking. I'm only going to give you guys the stovetop, stovetop version, but yes, you can grill it and yes, you can bake it. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm not going to go through all that. That's too much. That's way too much for me. Um, I'm only going to show you guys. I'm going to cook mine on this really cute skillet that I got for Christmas um, from that Pioneer Woman. And, yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to do the cooking now. So we're going to go ahead and turn on our stove. JK, that's the back one. And then add about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Um, I ran out of olive oil, so I'm stuck using vegetable oil. I'm so excited. This is going to be so delicious. Oh, also, that's not bad, but I made this avocado uh, or guacamole, basically. But uh, my mom always blends it in the blender, and it just makes it so smooth and creamy and soft. Fun fact, I'm sure people know this, but typically people add lime to their um, aguacate so it doesn't get black, it doesn't get dark right away. But my mom showed me to add sour cream and it actually really helps. So for example, I made this, made this this morning and the top is a little bit dark, but it's not like nasty bad. Like I would still eat that. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's really not bad. Um, but if you can tell that the bottom part is like still green. And to be honest, she, when she makes this, she makes this like spicy guacamole. Um, it's so amazing. For those of you that have tried my mom's spicy guacamole, you know what I'm talking about. It's so freaking bomb. Um, and that's how she makes it and it, it lasts forever just because of that. I, I feel it's because of the sour cream. I feel like the um, sour cream really conserves it. So, and yeah. But anyway, yeah, that smells so good guys. Wow. Anyway, that smells bomb. Okay, dude. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. I'm all wearing a crop top. It's all going to burn my panza. <laughs> oh, hell no. So it's like, please don't burn my panza, little chicken. Mm, this is looking good. Dang, this skillet is huge. I have always been like, cooking on skillets is for bougie bitches. Oops, sorry. Bougie bitch. And um, honestly, cooking on skillets has probably been the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, yes. okay. I take iron now. Because I got the surgery. And I lose a lot of nutrition, lose a lot of my hair. That's why my hair is so thin now, guys. Okay. all right guys so i know you're probably thinking oh my god she burnt the chicken but it actually calls for it to be crispy i like my chicken like this but for those of you that know the chipotle chicken is just typically typically crispy or on the crispier side um yeah you know si un poquito <laughs> but that's okay i actually like my chicken like this not even lying so but they are super juicy you can even tell like they are so freaking juicy guys they look so bomb i'm so excited i'm still cooking some of them i can't wait to whip it together for you all to see the outcome by the way i tried a couple pieces and let me just say bomb.com so excited all right guys so i am done making the chicken i don't know if you could hear me in the other part of the video because of the fan so i'm going to show you guys again this is all of the chicken chopped up. Like I said in the other part of the video, it does look like it's burnt. There are some pieces that are a little burnt because of the skillet. I actually like my chicken like this, but it actually also calls for it in the recipe to be like a little bit more on the crispier side. I don't know. But anyway, ustedes no se lo van a comer. Yo me lo voy a comer. No, I'm just kidding. But 
since I had already pre-packaged um, or pre-scooped um, the, the cauliflower rice and the black beans, <clears throat> I just took one out and warmed it up. So I actually did half a cup of cauliflower and um, half a cup of black beans. Um, and so that's what's in here right now. Okay. Um, I'm only going to do, I don't, I can't really eat a lot, a lot. So I'm only doing two ounces of chicken. And then I'm going to add And then I'm going to add some low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese. I'm just going to do like this much, probably just. Okay. I hit it stuck under my nails. Because I love cheese. And then. We're gonna do what the heck? Sorry guys, my sour cream's like oozing out water. Anyways, and then we're gonna do a little bit of light sour cream, not too much, literally just go to get cosita. And then I'm gonna put in some of the guacamole that I made. And I fucked up and don't have lettuce. Typically, I would put lettuce, the romaine lettuce, or um, um, spinach. I do have spinach, but it's in the freezer because I use it for my smoothies. <laughs> so that was a bit. That was a real big bust, huh? Anyways, so yeah, let's try it out. This is what it looks like. All right, guys, I'm gonna mix it up here. Oops, a little messy. Damn, this looks bomb. And then I like green Tabasco, I know I'm weird, but que no falte el green Tabasco. Let's try it. Mmm. Bitch. Honestly. I impress myself all the time. I'm like, how do you do it? No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, guys, super bomb, super delicious. I'm going to have a couple bites and then probably call it good I'd get full right away so <clears throat> but amazing I'm actually gonna make one for my mom and take it to her so she can try it and let me know what she thinks um and yeah so thanks for joining me today don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos um and yeah I'm looking forward to making more food videos for you all I'm also gonna see if I gather the courage to upload some workout videos. I'm not like the best workout person, but I mean, I don't think it hurts to like motivate people to like upload some workout videos. So you never know. Anyways, hope everybody has a wonderful day. Bye. Hey guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.